Hello, this is Cass Blue. I have been recording for over an hour, an hour because I totally didn't stop when I said I would, because I want to finish this up. Um, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun. We left it off last time in the innermost depths of Soul Sanctum, about to take the final elemental star at the behest of the villains Satyros and Merti, and also their sidekick Alex. Um, which, to be fair, we would be taking them at the behest of Kraden if they hadn't showed up, so you know, either either way. Um, here we are, let's do it. Isaac put the Mars Star in the Mithril Bag. A Mithril Bag, I guess. And that's not a good sound. All the water is gone. What's the matter? What happened? No! Not again! The water's gone! I just said that, Jenna. Without the energies of the elemental stars, the chamber is collapsing. Is this the terrible retribution the villagers spoke of? No! This must be more of alchemy's power. Well, what you did is you unlocked a... well, you'll see. Hey, what's that red stuff? That, I, I think you can figure it out. Um... Phew, it's over. But what was that? What was that? No! It is... That rock, it's floating! Do you Yes. I know everything, Garrett. Yeah, I know it's a rock st Garrett. Don't put words in my mouth. It'll make you it makes you anyway. Just keep going. Could that be the wise one? Indeed, it is the wise one. It's a giant floating rock with a huge ass eyeball. It is also basically God. Um so, yeah, that's a thing. Such power. Incredible! Wow. Keep in mind, we were going to remove all these anyway, so this would have happened whether Sathros and Merti were around or not. Of course, having said that, were they not there, we probably would have put the stones back. It must be the guardian of the elemental stars! This doesn't look good. Maybe we should just escape while we can. But we need the Mars Star. How can we leave it behind? I agree with Felix. We're no match for the guardian. The Mars Star will have to wait for another day. What about Isaac and Garrett? You can't just leave them here. Forget about them. They won't make it out alive. But, Satyros, there's still a chance they might survive. Anything is possible. So what do you suggest we do? We will take this Jenna with us. If they survive, they will want her back. And if they want her back, they will bring us the star. Regardless, Kraden must come with us. He is connected to all of this. Alex, are you breaking our promise? Conditions have changed since we made that promise. Jenna's not any part of this! I won't let you hurt her! Do what you will with me, just let Jenna go! Your bravery speaks well of you, old man, but now you cannot. But you cannot help Jenna now. If we leave Jenna, she will surely die. Is that what you want, Felix? Perhaps we ought to continue this elsewhere, Felix. Mm -hmm. 
please. Can we go now? Yeah, he's kind of maybe... Well, Alex never really panics. He's got, got a really good lid on his emotions. But this is... Per well, yeah. He is basically worried about getting killed by God right now. So he wants to sort of GTFO. Let us make haste. Hey, don't push my sister. Who do you think you're talking to? You owe us your life. Minority. Master Kraden, will you be you will be joining us, of course. We'll, well, we'll try not to, Jenna. <laughs> not really on the to-do list. The Mars Star. It's a pity we have to leave it, but perhaps we'll be seeing it soon. So, you know, I can't- I need to point this out. Alex could have totally gotten that star if he wanted to. Well, this turned out badly, wouldn't you say? Yeah, a little bit, Garrett. No. How can you be so calm in a time like this? Well, you see, I know everything. Also, I still have one of the keys to ultimate arcane power. You don't think they'll hurt Jenna and Kraden, do you? Uh... No? Okay, that was the right answer. Yeah, they'll be safe. Felix is there. This is really terrible. We've got a long way to go if we're gonna make it out of here. So let's get moving. Please? I'm not gonna get a bell in this episode at this rate. Uh, no. Quit acting so tough! Let's get out of here! And hey, it's The Rock. Hey, Isaac. Isaac, I'm over here. Come on, we gotta go. And he's oblivious. Why are you standing there? This place has become dangerous. You're the dangerous one! The volcano will soon erupt. I cannot hold it for long. You must leave this place. The elemental jinn, they have returned. Take out the yes. Return into his bag. The elemental stars are moving away from here. Without the power of the elemental stars to contain it, the magma flows freely once again, and this chamber is collapsing. There will be no chamber for the elemental stars to return to. The 
the world will be exposed to the threat of alchemy. Alchemy? A threat? It can be a dangerous power if it is misused. If the elemental stars ignite the flames of the four lighthouses, that power will be un unleashed. As long as the four lighthouses remain unlit, Volcano. It's, it's erupting. erupting. Flee now! But how? Ah, I see. I will help you. So, for those not keeping up, we basically just got told by God, or the equivalent in Wayard, to fix to stop Satros and Meridi from unleashing the power of alchemy onto the world. Um, I want to say no, but let's be honest here, he did. I mean, no, I saved us, but no, the, the I helped. I'll, I'll give it credit this time. Yeah, right, let's get out of here. Smarter words have never been said by you, Garrett. Um, or let me rephrase that. Wiser words. Uh, you know, why am I running? This is exactly the sort of situation that Retreat is for. And we're at the entrance. Slash exit. That is not a good sound. Yep, that's a bad thing. I think we made a boo-boo. I thought Mount Elf was inactive. Oh no! My grandson! Will Garrett be safe in this eruption? Grandpa, we don't even know if he's up there! I like it how Garrett's siblings get the custom faceplates. Practically no NPCs do, but Garrett, but Garrett's siblings do. But sis, someone saw him and his friends climbing Mount Elf. They were hanging around here while I was on guard duty. Isaac and Garrett went to Mr. Creighton's house. Didn't they say they were studying alchemy? Yes, they did, but what does it have to do with the eruption? Well, I think we're busted. Uh-oh, it's Grandpa and the others, you don't say. What do we do, Isaac? Should we go back up? No. There's like lava and stuff up there, it's, it's a bad day. Garrett! Isaac! You're safe! Come over here, both of you! You are safe now, until I get my hands on you. Then whip crack. Or I say whip, more like a switch, really. Where have you been? What happened? Weren't Jin and Crane with you? No. What do you mean they were taken away? That's not what I said at all, but you know, whatever. This is all very complicated. We'll need you to tell us exactly what happened on the mountain. 
Come into the sanctum, both of you. And then they explained it. In quick speed time. Yep, quick speed time. Presumably they glossed over the part where Kraden was gonna steal the stars and we were helping them do that. Or er, yeah, presumably. We had no idea, the true sanctum! And Jenna and Kraden, they're prisoners? Yes. Or at least Jenna is. I don't, I don't I'm not so certain that Kraden isn't just working with them. They've been taken against their will! How awful! Do you think they can be saved? Yes. Jenna's brother, Felix, will protect them, won't he? Of course. What is it, great healer? You have been very quiet. It's like you're a thousand miles away. That hovering stone that appeared... That hovering stone, the one that appeared before Isaac. What about it? I have seen it before in my dreams. So... In my mind's eye, it appeared again just now and spoke to me. You saw it just now? It must be the wise one, guardian of the elemental stars. Well, that's literally what it was, so... I think the two are probably go together. Um, it told me what happened to you in Soul Sanctum. So, what does the Wise One say about the eruption? Will the volcano destroy Vale? It is impossible to stop the eruption now. But? I sense a but. Vale will be safe. The wise one will prevent the lava from reaching us. Oh, more stuff is happening. What's the matter, great healer? The village will be destroyed, won't Moving on. Something even dr more dreadful than the Vale's destruction looms ahead. What could be worse than, th than the destruction of Vale? A terrible power. The elemental star gems house incredible power. And Vale has been guarding those gems? The elemental lighthouses will loose that power upon the world. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will... Will what? The wise one wants us to get the gems back, doesn't he? No? This world is ours to save or to destroy. Oh yeah, I forgot it. I guess I sort of forgot about that. The wise one is very hands-off, but he's sort of he's sort of that mentor position who gets you to do exactly exactly what he wants even w without actually doing anything. Um as you will soon see. Our inaction may bring about its destruction. What a pity. We cannot hope for salvation. We must save ourselves. 
Then what can we do? According to the elemental stars, acquiring, that makes a lot more sense, the elemental stars is their fate alone. Are you suggesting we place the fate of the world in the hands of Isaac and Garrett? Garrett is only a child, you can't expect him to bear such a burden, especially him. I think Isaac could take it. He's a pretty smart dude. But Garrett is just... Again, I'm really hard on Garrett today. Oh well. Less so this episode, I guess, but it's still there. The wise one has spoken! Each of you shares responsibility for this. Now, each of you must make your own decision! I don't know what to decide, Isaac, you decide! I'm really tempted to say no, but I want to get this over with, and also, I kind of want the excuse to venture forth in character. Um, Isaac, will you accept the responsibility to for to it the fate in land? Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Talking. You accept? Oh, Isaac, you can't mean it. Yes, I do. You choose to leave... Actually, no, I, di I didn't miss say that. It's just badly written. You choose to leave your decision to Isaac. Oh no, you chose. Okay. I was misreading. I'm tired, okay? There shall be no further discussion! Way to go, Gareth's grandfather. Oh, wise one, these two have accepted your quest. Give us your next command! And he just comes down. You two are quite brave to take on this quest. I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. And he's gone. He's serious about watching us, though. At all times. No matter what we do or say, he'll be there watching us. What did the wise ones say? I guess they couldn't see him? Felix must unlock the power. Wait, Felix? Felix? Must unlock what? That doesn't make any sense in context. You'll have the guidance of the elemental star. Um, then what? What should they do there? Surely, that can't be all the advice you can offer them, great healer. Seek the elementals. The Jin. When I was a kid and I was first playing this game, I didn't know that the D was silent, so I pronounced it the Jin. Just a fun little fact for you. They will prove useful. They will. I will explain the djinn um, next episode. Just so you know. Because there's going to be a really good thing to explain it with next episode. There isn't anything else. That is all. That's it? Isn't there anything else you can tell them? That is all, Mayor. I leave it up to you, Isaac Garrett. Well then. Hey, isn't it almost time to meditate? 
By the way, you're a real shitty guard. Oh yeah, medication, let's go! <laughs> ah, they just want to get out of dodge. Well, what good are those guys? Sending children off with no help or direction? I agree, but... They didn't give us any other choice. Then, when should they go? It doesn't sound like we can afford to wait. Tomorrow then? Tomorrow? Yes. And on that note, well, let's... Why is everyone hanging around the town gate? What, you didn't hear? Isaac and Garrett are leaving Vale on a journey! I wish I could go. I heard it's gonna be really dangerous. Oh, you know what? I should have totally taken Jenna's equipment. I could have sold it. Oh, well. No big deal. Oh, yeah? So everyone's down there to say goodbye? Kind of odd that they're telling us this instead of just showing it, but, you know, whatever. Hey, what's the matter? What indeed? Weird! Isaac's mother isn't there to see him off. What? But... Oh, that's sad. But understandable. Isaac's all she has left, and she has to leave him. Maybe forever. That's gotta be hard on her. Hey, shouldn't we say goodbye too? Sure, let's go! We are all counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and you too, Garrett. I love that, he's basically an afterthought. Don't drink the water if it smells funny. And take this with you too. I got an herb. I know not to drink stagnant water, sis. Don't listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig, he'll eat anything that's not tied down. Hmm, door is very late. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give this to you, Isaac. Isaac got catch beads, which is an item that, you know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you later. It's an item, it's important. We're gonna do some with it almost immediately next episode. But, it must be very difficult for Dora. I already explained that, Garrett's sister. As Garrett's mother, I know how Dora must feel. But I still have Garrett's father, while Dora has only Isaac. She doesn't want you to go, Isaac. But she knows you have to, and it hurts to see you leave. They can't keep standing around here like this, or they'll never leave! So, one final farewell! 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 And st wait. Okay. And we're gonna... Right, I'm sure you can see that in the corner, but we're gonna stop right here. We have left Vale, not for the final time, because we're about to go right back in. Um, because I want to buy stuff and that shit. But that's not until next episode, when it'll finally be a reasonable length. So until then, tune in next time to find out what's up with the gin thing and also the cash beads. But until then, 
This has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Cast Blue, and have a nice day.